What is happening, my fellow Wasteland Warriors, or Wanderers, whatever the hell I call you guys. Welcome back to another episode of Fallout New Vegas. We are continuing our quest to find the two remaining squads of Brotherhood of Steel members that just up and went missing. So mysterious. The Brotherhood has been so kind to us in letting us come and go out of their hole in the ground and we thought we'd repay that kindness with a little bit of uh, investigating. So we're gonna traipse our happy ass over to, right now we're heading to the Repcon headquarters where we're gonna find the skeletal remains, I mean the hopefully still living Brotherhood of Steel members. Take them home? <laughs> Silly me, I didn't realize I... I, in between episodes, I had done some getting rid of junk, sold a bunch of stuff, and somehow I didn't remember to re-equip my weapon. Did I say blast off to the future? Oh, that's the Repcon Headquarters Museum, so we should be close. Is this little flowers? Wait, what? Pick white horse metal? Yeah, sure. I don't know what it's good for, but maybe like a recipe or... So I remember we came kind of this way when we were headed to uh, the New Vegas Strip, but I don't believe we would have sauntered this far off the path to go sightseeing. Here we go, Repcon headquarters. Are you friendly? seem friendly, so... That's a big blade you got there, though. Hello. Oh, may I serve you, mistress? I'd like a foot rub and some chocolate. No? Alright. Main offices. Oh, cool. Well, like... Retro ass rocket pointing at like a collapsing ceiling. Oh, uh, hello. Tour guy. Welcome to Repcon headquarters, Rocketeer. Come all this way to see our little facility, have you? Sure have. I'm here to answer any and all questions you may have within specified parameters. And if you'd like, I can provide a tour of our museum. Uh, within specified parameters, I wanted to ask, what does it feel like to be loved? Can you tell me about Repcon? I can answer whatever questions you'd like, provided your query is limited to Repcon history, research and development, or Robco. Repcon's history. Repcon's illustrious history began way back in 2054, shortly after the famous Delta 11 rocket was completed and launched. Ripcon's initial focus was on the development of fuel to be used in orbital propulsion in response to the energy crisis of 2052. Sad times indeed. The company really took off when Robco purchased Redcon in late 2076 to develop unmanned rockets to explore the solar system. That's pretty cool, unmanned rockets to just go around the stars. Well, that's enough about Repcon. Very well. Feel free to ask me more about Repcon at any time. Don't be shy. The tour showcases Repcon's amazing scientific contributions and the promise of many more, coupled with its parent company, Robco. Yeah, let me get a tour of the museum. Excellent, excellent. Please be patient. The tour will begin in just a moment. Ready for the Repcon tour, Rocketeers? Courtesy of the fine folks at Robco, I'll be your guide today on the path of scientific discovery. Cool. We have a uh, nuclear science museum here in Albuquerque, New Mexico, and I really want to check it out. It seems like a cool uh, in the lead -like place to spend an afternoon. It's a spent radioactive rod from one of our old reactors. No need to stand too close. Let's move along, shall we? Hey, out of my way. I'm, I'm touring here. Mistress? What are you doing, little dude? You lost? Look here. A row of multicolored plasma fuels. Careful, they may look safe to drink, but your stomach is the last place they should be. They do Why the deficient cylinder size? Refining our production methods has resulted in higher yields of fuel over time. 
That's why. To my right, you can see a sample of some old safety barrels Repcon once used to store radioactive waste. Perfectly safe. On my left is an example of a mountain of Repcon safety barrels some legislators claim are poisoning our environment. Ridiculous. Uh, the, the ones that are missing? Should I be concerned that the radioactivity, radioactive material is missing? You, you get stuck, little homie? Behind me is our most recent rocket project, which we're keeping under our hats until launch, if you'll pardon the expression. And in front of me is a model, not actual size, of the launch dome we are using to send our rockets streaming into a... Wow, that's pretty cool. What's in there? Oh, it's just more like Now these colorful fellows behind me are Redcon's earliest experiments in flight. Feel free to read the plans and learn rocketeers. Oh, we got a little, little forbidden area. Good enough lockpick though, damn it. Oh, oh, excuse me, just going off the beaten path to explore, look for secrets, pull for any goods that I find, you know, typical tourist kind of stuff. A door over here. Oh, like a grocery store? Oh no, it's like a little gift shop, cool. Oh, rocket souvenir, that's adorable. I actually want to pick that and put it in the, uh, my room in the casino that I'm squatting in. Oh, what did we got here? Being the corpse. So they're not so friendly with everyone. Hunting rifle. I like the sound of that. Sadist armor? <laughs> that might be a good look for me. What are the stats? Not very good. Which, I guess if you're a sadist or a masochist, it, it would be more the masochist, right? It wouldn't care about good stats. I handle an average terminal. Well, let's give it a shot. Yeah, we got it. That felt like kind of an easy one because uh, the first one I tried, I think, was Inventor, and then all of them started with IN except for like two of them, so that eliminated all but those last two. Disengage lock. Did that work? Hell yeah. Ooh, what we got in here? Your terminal. Oh, get in here quick before they notice that we strayed from the tour. Authorized personnel door. It's like a tanning booth or like a futuristic jerkin station. Oh, man, that thing is efficient. Unauthorized facial pattern. Please present credentials for first floor access. Ah, uh, you know what? I just forgot my badge at home. Unauthorized Fuck. access. You have 30 seconds to vacate before security is alerted. Okay, okay. Uh, if, if I can find the door. No, we're cool, we're cool, we're leaving. Just go home and get my badge. That area was really small in there, but when I walked up, this building is huge. There's gotta be more to it, and maybe, just maybe, there's another way in. Uh, 
I really don't want to have to fight a bunch of robots. He's got a, a buzzsaw for a hand. I don't know if you know this, but my face flesh is rather supple. How may I serve you, mistress? Um, any way I could get credentials to get inside? No? All right, we're cool then. Cool little pedestrian walkway. Oh, that really seems like the only way in. What the fuck? Okay, so we've established that there's really only one main entrance and really only one way it's feasible for us to get further into this building. And I'm just curious if there's some way we might be able to do some trickery to get ourselves even deeper. And I suspect this terminal being so close to the door, it's a good bet, why not try it? Holy shit, fuck yeah. I'm not getting better at those, I'm just editing, editing out all the mistakes. Add user facial data to the database. Let's do that. Cool, enter office correspondence number. To all Repcon employees from Piers Isley General Manager. Hello again, everyone. Those of you in the main building may be curious about the men doing all the work in your offices and hallways. They are installing some enhanced security measures. These measures are in place for your safety as well as the safety and privacy of your Repcon family, along with the hardware and software security changes. Each of you will also receive a personnel packet with a identification badge. It is very important that you wear your badge at all times. Again, this is for everyone's protection. Oh, and everyone feel free to take a long weekend as soon as you have received your personnel packet. Have a great holiday, Piers. Hello everyone, my name is Carl Rook. As I'm sure you can tell, I'm your new vice president. Until recently, I was at Robco working in their security division. But now that your family and my family are one big family, we thought it would be nice if they sent an older sibling over. I still gotta be so creepy, dog. Just say like, hey, corporate merger, I'm here to fuck shit up. Now I'm gonna do as much as I can not to interfere with your daily operations here. My principal concern is going to be security. I hear that you all have been adapting well to some new security procedures. Well, we've got some new kids to join your little family here. You'll see some friendly androids patrolling around the main building. As long as everyone remembers to wear their badges at all times and make sure they are properly registered with security, these friendly androids will stay out of your way. So long as you all keep on as you have been, everything will be just fine. Thanks for your time, Carl. P.S. Please remember that third floor access is for executives only. If you need assistance from me or peers, feel free to give us a buzz on the phone and we'll send you down the daily password. Thanks. All right, so hacker voice. We're in. See if that nosy little bitch wants to come scan our face again. Oh, hey, uh... Valid facial pattern detected. Cool. See, I told you I worked here. <laughs> a terminal, very hard. We've got a door, very hard. That makes me very hard. Let me turn the lights on. It's so fucking dark in here. Is 
This is the second floor, right? Door to Repcon office, second floor. I don't want the robot to turn around and be like, well, we're on the third floor now, prepare to die. I might be able to take one of them. There's like, there's so many here that I don't want to start a firefight. Which is odd for me, right? Usually I just charge in head first, shoot everything, ask questions eventually. Oh, I thought that was a loading screen. Uh, we got here. Some more terminals. Very intrigued by this place. I can tell it hides a lot of secrets, but quite honestly, I need to remember and stay focused. We are here for the Brotherhood of Steel person. I will take their soda if it's being offered freely though. Some of this stuff is like what's called junk or scrap, but it can be used for crafting at some point. No valid Repcon identification badge detected. Please vacate the premises. You you just check my face, dog. Like, I'm good. Like, you already let me inside. I'm just trying to get to my desk so I can do some work here after a long weekend. You know, a couple hundred years. Place really fell to shit. That's gotta be third floor. I don't know if I wanna try for the third floor. Yeah, it's weird. Trying for the third floor. like a king's fortune right there. Four soda bottles? Oh, they don't seem friendly at all. I'm just gonna... Third floor access is for executives only. Please identify. Ice cream? Thank you, ma'am. Have a nice day. Holy shit, that worked. Here's Isley's briefcase. We got, oh, hella money and a third floor security card. Very cool. Now it feels like I do belong here. I feel like someone should be getting me a coffee. floor leading to the uh, executive break room damn they got hella snacks in here grilled mantis I think I will been to this part of the building before? I feel like I haven't. I, mean, I don't recognize this. Oh, we got a skeleton. Still holding on to his cup of coffee. Monday, am I right? Can 
boy, the damn Brotherhood of Steel guy. Oh, that leads. Wait. Where the hell am I? Have I been here? Let's go further down? I don't know that I want to go further down. Oh! Oh, what is. What? Q35 Matter Masturbator. I think I'll take that. Well, at least we got something for coming here. Oh, that was that very hard door that we first came to. There. I was a Brotherhood of Steel person who's definitely still alive. Where would I be? I mean, quite honestly, with this amount of security, they're, they're not going to be alive. How may I serve you, mistress? Um, any, like, recent deceased bodies, like, more recent than this guy? He's just got his skeleton legs a jiggling. is for executives only. Please identify. This isn't going to work again. Ice cream? Thank you, ma'am. Have a nice day. Duh. I'm not even holding any ice cream. Oh, got a nice little safe here. Easy. See, they should be like pretty identifiable because they're always wearing that like metal pajamas. Like it's their safety blanket. I mean, quite honestly, though, if I had metal pajamas, I'd probably wear it all the time. That'd be badass. Be uncomfortable sleeping, for sure. I just want to find the damn body. All right. After exploring and getting lost and going around and around, I figured out I've been passing this dude so many times. He's right here on the third floor, right by the door. Hey, hey, I'm <sighs> memorializing my friend here, damn robot. I could steal more power armor. I think I might. All right, well, that's all we set out to do here. So we are going to leave. And where was the third one? He was out. Oh, uh, should be our homies at the Nellis Air Force Base. So that actually shouldn't be nearly as hard as this. If I can figure out how to get out of here. See, this place is a nightmare to navigate. Valid facial pattern detected. Cool, thank you for telling me I'm valid. I, pr I appreciate that. Oh, wait, no, I'm trying to leave. Cool. Oh, I was that was getting worrisome, honestly. Like, ah, oh, don't make me fight the robots. They're so nice. 
the last destination is. Oh, it's actually not in the air for wait. I don't know if it's within the base itself or just the front of it. And uh, why are there two indicators? There shouldn't be two. Both kind of leading me this way. This one is moving a lot more than that one is. That's going that way. Are they alive? Are they doing patrols? Are they walking around? Oh, what is? Big hole in the ground, but for once it's not radioactive. Hey. Oh shit, I got so lucky. <laughs> oh, I'm going to be over encumbered now, but I'm stealing all your armor, homie. What sucks is I can't give this to Boone to carry for me. And now I got to head back to the hole in the ground where the Brotherhood of Steel is at so they can mourn their fallen brothers. Get back here. All right, well, that was un... <laughs> that was, uh... How do I put that? That was tedious. I trudged the... my over-encumbered ass all the way to Nellis Air Force Base. That way I could unload some stuff, manage some things, get it so that I was no longer unencumbered. Then I managed to tuck away the power armor. Like I said, if I can wear it in the future, awesome. If not, it'll sell for a pretty penny. Uh, and then I sold a bunch of other stuff that I was holding on to, did some management with making Boone carry the heavier stuff that I've got. I have like 2,000 pounds of lead for some reason got to be useful for something at some point so and it's also really funny what has a weight and what doesn't but now we're headed back to elder brotherhood of steel people to let them know that we found all of the uh hollow tapes of their fallen brethren sadly as I suspected, none of them were still alive. Oh, I think it was this way. No, nope, still getting turned around here. That's right. Hey there. Found the missing patrols, or was something else on your mind? I found them. They're all dead. Here's their hollow tapes. They were all dead then. I suppose I'm not surprised. You shouldn't be. We have few friends in the world above, and many enemies. But we must turn our minds to other matters. When I sent out those patrols, I also sent three knights out on scouting missions. When the patrols failed to return, we assumed the worst, and sent a single communication to the scouts to hold position and maintain radio silence. I want you to contact those scouts and gather their reports. Like the patrols, they have devices on them that will enable you to track them. When you find them, tell them you're my representative and ask them if the bears are still hunting. That should get them to talk to you. Return when you've gathered all of their reports. All right, well, that'll have to be next time. So thank you so much for tuning in as I continue playing Fallout New Vegas. Be sure to check back next week because we've got more dead Brotherhood of Sc I mean, scouts that might still be alive to find. Uh, but as always, I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day. Take care. Thank you for watching to the end of the video. If you enjoyed what you saw, please consider liking, commenting, and subscribing.
Doing so encourages YouTube to show my content to more people. And you won't want to miss out on my next upload.